You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, if you guys have been seeing me for the past week or two, you know that I am doing a mini series on by Kate Cleese. And it is called 43 Old Cemetery Road. And today I am reviewing the last book in that series. It is book number four. It is called The Phantom of the Post Office. Check that out. So, um, this has quite a few pages. I'm not sure quite how many there are. Let's see. Okay, Amazon said that there was 160 pages in this book, and unfortunately, you guys, this does not have a Kindle edition. Here's what this one is about. What happens when your fan is a phantom? The talented trio at Spence Mansion loves getting fan mail, but when a strange letter arrives saying that the end is near, it's clear something sinister is afoot. Even worse, the ghastly post office is preparing to close, which will make it difficult to, to, to deliver future ghost stories from 43 Old Cemetery Road. A new technology called Vex Mail is threatening to replace letters, books, hair dryers, and even garage door openers. Is there anyone who can save the post office? The writer of the mysterious fan mail, fan letter, just might try, but he could end up striking down Ghost Gasly's beloved ghostwriter in the process. 11-year-old Seymour Hope and his new friend Wi-Fi must solve this po these postmortem mysteries before it's too late. So this was a great book, um, as you guys know. Um, there's 11-year-old Seymour and his, <coughs> excuse me, his mom is a ghost called Olive Spence and there is a um, Mr. Grumpley, um, which is kind of fitting because he is always kind of grumpy. Um, so what does this mean? This means that this is a great book. Um, this is the last in the series, so, um, yeah, this is a great book. This does not have a Kindle edition, um, unfortunately, but I will link down in the video description below to where you guys might find it on Amazon. If you guys have Amazon Prime, it is a two-day shipping on anything, pretty much, that Amazon sells, so there is that advantage. Um, so this book, um, kept me guessing until the end, as most mysteries do, and it was pretty funny how it turned out. Um, I'm not going to give away the ending because I want you to check it out, um, if you would like to. Um, if you've read this book, did you like it? Did you hate it? I want to know. Hashtag, the book reviewer wants to know. Um, this is kind of a short review this time. I'm sorry, but, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, and it is time for the holidays, and time for family and friends, so I will do a, as I've done with all of my other um, book series, I will do a review on this mini-series that I've been doing, um, and that should be up either tomorrow or next week. Alright, thanks you, thanks you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys!